For many manners, there's no beating the nostalgia of an old drive-in theater. But this summer, there will be fewer options for people looking to enjoy a double feature in their cars under the stars. Yeah, Alex Haskell is here to explain what's going on with the drive-ins in our state of Maine. Hey, Alex. Hey guys, good morning. So as online streaming services like Netflix and Hulu provide alternatives to seeing movies without leaving our homes, drive-in theaters are on their way out. The ownership group of the drive-in has decided to not open for this season. That's what's playing at the Bangor drive-in. Nothing. Located just over the city line in Herman, the drive-in is out. Really, really tough decision. Scott Warren is the theater's general manager. He says the pandemic and online streaming services are to blame. That doesn't help uh, movie theaters or drive-ins at all. The announcement coming as a surprise to local drive-in fans. It's kind of a big loss. Like Jeremiah Rancourt, who is looking forward to another summer of outdoor movies with the wife and kids. It was kind of a nice option for us to get together and uh, a place for family to meet and enjoy films. Another drive-in calling it quits, Saco, which opened on Route 1 in 1939, the year Judy Garland got caught up in a tornado in The Wizard of Oz. What we did was try to see what was possible. According to staff at Aquaboggin Water Park, they've bought most of the drive-in's equipment with plans to preserve the experience of the Saco drive-in across the street at Aquaboggin. They expect to open this summer. In a perfect world, maybe by July. For now, those looking for a place to drive in for a drive-in, you'll need to head to somewhere like Skowhegan. It's definitely very concerning. General Manager Chaz Wing is fully aware of the situation at other drive-ins and says business is also on the decline at his place not too far from downtown. When I first started in 2017, it was busy and it, it's been dropping off ever since. Maybe it's only saving grace. This is a bit more of an economically depressed area. The land values aren't quite as high as they are in other areas. There's really not much else that could be done with this land. So the Skowhegan Drive-In Theater plans to open May 6th next Friday. According to the website Drive-In Movie, once the Saco Theater reopens, Maine will be home to seven drive-ins. I'll list those spots on our website and mobile app a little later this morning. Now to the real news. What is this I hear about a New Center Maine anchor not going to a drive-in theater before? Oh my what? gosh, what? Alex is calling that's me aggr out now. That's aggressive. <laughs> I don't wow. like this. I'm feeling uh, we're, ganged we're up. Get, here's an idea. We'll we can grab our significant others and go to a drive-in theater this summer. Lee, you can be the fifth well, wheel. You're always welcome. Uh, well, I got a lot of significant others, so I got all the kids. I mean, we'll, we'll, if we I bring, bring my family, we'll keep the drive-ins in business just by ourselves. So, all right, thank you, Alex. Appreciate it.